Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about with formic which is a higher order component. Okay, like we have a with router and maybe some other libraries are exposing these higher order components. So with router, with formic, you just need to wrap another component uh, with these higher order components so they can return another component. You can compare it like a higher order function which returns another function. Higher order component like connect in Redux with router in react router dom similarly with formic in the formic library okay how to write this form so this is the previous example we have created now first of all what is the basic condition for writing higher order component so in the bottom we always export something right so like const my form okay here i will wrap it around with formic okay and i will just initialize my formic object and after that, I will be returning, I will be actually passing my component. Maybe this is my component, I will be passing that as an argument. So it will return another component. And my form component will be this. This is my form component. Okay, let's make this empty for now. And let's add our code inside it. So this is our component. And this is what we are returning. Sorry. Okay. Now, what we need to do is in this with formic, we have to pass all the required parameters. So, what all we can pass, what all it accepts. It accepts, you can see, map props to values. Okay then component decorator, formic shared config, formic state, all these arguments are we can pass. You can see the definition also here with formic is taking extend object, formic values, payload will contain all these things, map props to the values and this config and this config is nothing but it is having you, you can see all these values, map props to status, map props to touched, handle submit, display, name, all these properties we can pass in the config apart from map props to values so here let's start writing these parameters okay this is the first argument which we have and what it will return is nothing but an object the initializer values or the form then we have validate validate also you can add this is going to be a function okay it is taking values as an argument and here we can write our custom function that if there is a name field then we will write our custom validation okay errors is an empty object if name is empty then we will just set this error dot name as required okay apart from that there is one method handle submit okay this is our handle submit and same as the previous methods we have written it will accept values and in the in the helper methods so you can see the next argument is a helpers formic handlers and in this we can actually get set submitting okay let me just see it should have set submitting okay set submitting and this is going to be the another arrow function and in this arrow function we will be able to get the values okay so we can just write a set timeout and put the set submitting false Okay, so this is what we have created as a form, right? And we will be exporting this form component only from this export default form. Now this is higher order component. Before that we have to just wrap our, uh, we have to create our form component, right? And we are accessing the props. So from this props, because this props, this component is being wrapped inside this with formic. So now, it is enabling us it is giving us all the properties in the props so with the help of props we can access all these so i mean with router or connect what they do is they are enabling your props similarly with formic is adding all these properties in the props of your components like values touched error handle change handle blur handle submit now the rest of the thing is write your html form right 
this is what we are returning so we can write our html form we can write handle submit handle change all these components all these methods form handle submit we are getting handle change we are getting handle blur values dot name errors touched properties everything we are getting right this is how we can write higher order component with formic okay this is like a simple one i think we haven't used any complex stuff here here instead of validate you can also use validate schema i guess validate schema option is also there so if you have a complex form like where you have a three four fields you can pass the validate schema but this is typically how it works with formic it is actually wrapping around this form component and providing all these properties in the props here i think you can also access it submitting okay so it's submitting and you can check if form is getting submitted in this method i mean same thing like disabled it same property we have we keep doing it okay all these properties you can access okay thanks everyone in coming videos we will talk about context and after that we will start writing the dynamic forms because understanding the formic with the basic examples are easy but writing your custom form from json is little bit tricky and that is our final objective is i give you the json and you build your dynamic forms with all validations uh, all all different methods okay that is our final objective thanks everyone